Do you like to type? How fast can you type? How accurately? However good you think you are, Type Knight is guaranteed to challenge you. The gameplay is relatively straightforward. Your character, a mysterious knight, is walking through a graveyard. Skeletons come at you with words floating over their heads, and you type them to cast a spell and destroy them. As you progress, the words get longer and more difficult to type. Now and then you'll be faced with a special enemy or boss which has slightly different gameplay, but it's always clear what you need to do. There are also a few other interesting mechanics, such as needing to type special red words to defend yourself from attack, and being able to name your own four-letter spell which you can cast at any time to clear the screen. Now and then you'll also come to treasure chests which contain health restores, spell slots, or just gold coins for points, and there are some narration screens that tell a story. I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good at typing. I learned to type on Mavis Beacon in the seventh grade, and I completed the course with several weeks to spare, so the teachers let me use the internet while the others did their lessons. A rare treat back then, before most people had internet in their homes. Then I started playing Telnet MUDs, where you had to type out commands quickly and accurately to take actions in real time. When I graduated high school, I became a legal secretary and spent most of my time typing out long legalese documents. I have experience and skill, is what I'm saying here, and in most typing-based games, I can beat the whole thing without ever breaking a sweat. So when I tell you that Type Knight is difficult, I'm not joking around. I couldn't even beat the game on easy. In fact, when I used a custom dictionary to set every word to the letter F so that I could see the end of the game, I realized I hadn't even gotten halfway when playing legit. Aside from the difficulty of the words used in the game and the speed with which you have to type them, other aspects add to the challenge. For example, when you type the red words to hold up your shield and defend yourself from a special attack, you can't attack any other enemies, so if they reach you before that spell is cast, you take a hit. The dictionary is also in British English, which makes it more difficult for players who use American English. The muscle memory for words that are spelled differently across the pond will absolutely mess you up. Then there's the simple fact that if you make a mistake, the word you were typing doesn't clear. You have to either manually clear all of your text by hitting the delete key, though this can be rebound, or you have to hit backspace until you get to the letter you missed. So one tiny mistake can easily mess you up really badly if you don't realize you made it until too late. You also can't switch targets. You have to either finish typing the word you started or clear the text before switching to another target, which can be a problem if you're typing a long and complicated word when one of those little bat guys comes swooping down, giving you almost no time at all to hit it before it strikes. And if you mess up and get hit, the bat dudes will hit you then disappear, but the skeletons will keep attacking you over and over again until you kill them. So if you let one of them get too close, it might be able to kill you before you can even type its word. But at least there are custom text options. You can load your own word list to play with, making it as easy or difficult as you want. And at least as of the time of this review, you can even unlock the game's achievements with a custom dictionary, though we'll see if that stays in the game or not. By the way, I don't recommend using a one-letter dictionary. Turns out the game gets, uh... It gets a little weird when all the monsters have the same one-letter word. Can't blame the game devs for that, though. This is obviously not how the game was meant to be played. As for accessibility, obviously you need to be able to type to play this game, but there is something here for colorblind players, an option to change the text color for defending yourself. There's no way to change the color for the main words, but I think the white text against the dark background should be visible for everyone. You can reduce the screen shake, which I appreciate. The custom dictionaries can also change the challenge level, although you can't adjust the speed with which the enemies come at you. By the way, the dictionary definitely contains some controversial and potentially upsetting words by default. If you're someone who has trigger words, you might want to either avoid this game or load up your own dictionary right from the start. I found a few of the words included in the game really quite shocking. Overall, I found the game challenging, aesthetically pleasing, and interesting, but I don't think I would have kept at it to get all the achievements if I hadn't been able to use the custom dictionary. That's it for Type Knight, but if this one isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and who knows? That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, hi there. Uh, thanks for watching this video about Type Knight. If you like typing, it is a typing game, so that's that's there. Um, and hey, you can you can you can type a comment down below this video, and let me know if you liked it. And I hope that you did. And thanks for watching. Oh, and, and these, these are my top patrons. Thank you, top patrons. I love you. I love them.